and back. Ugh. But Hey guys, what's up? It's Mariana. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe down below. I would be forever grateful. So for this week's video, we're going to be talking about my birthday. My birthday was this past week. I turned 21, which is a really important birthday. I was able to go out and have fun and not even worry about being carded or anything. It was just it was a nice relief. I got to celebrate it by just having a nice relaxed day and then going out at night and dressing up for Halloween as a Girl Scout and just being with my friends and it was so much fun and I'm so forever grateful for it. I am very hungover from it but that's totally okay. For this video I'm going to be sharing 21 things that I have learned in my 21 years being alive which sounds kind of dramatic but whatever. And then at the end of it I'm going to show you guys some of the gifts that I've gotten from my friends when I show these, I mean in no ways to brag them, I just want to show how grateful I am for my friends and all that they did for me for my birthday. So let's get into the video. So I have my notebook with all my things listed because I'm going to really try my best not to just like ramble and go off topic. Um, but here are the 21 things that I've learned in my 21 years being alive. The first one is pretty straightforward and I think everyone should live by this. Um, it's a reason why it's called the golden rule and that is to treat people the way you want to be treated. I'm a really big firm believer in kind of like karma, that if you put good karma out into the world, it will come back to you and a lot of that comes from how you treat people. Two, try to be kind for no reason. Honestly, my favorite thing in people is when people are just genuinely kind, when they feel like they don't need a reason to be kind towards you or other people. They just do it because they want to do it. And it can be little things to just holding a door for someone. Number three. Try to stay as positive as you can. I know that is a lot harder said than done, but I have found over the past couple of years that if you really, really try just to always find the positive in things, it will just make your life so much easier and just make you so much happier. And I know it's easy to resort to just kind of like looking at the negative and blaming other people and not really staying positive, but honestly, if you put the effort into it, more good things will come out of it. Number four. Know your worth. Know that you are worth it. That you are, you know, that you deserve the best. That you deserve to be around the best and treated the best. So in other words, don't let people just kind of walk all over you and use you and manipulate you. Know that you're worth it and that what they're doing to you, if they're doing that to you, is completely, utterly wrong. Number five. This kind of goes along with that, which is try to X out toxic people. If you are finding that there are certain people, whether it's a friendship or like a more intimate relationship or even like family members it's hard to do this but it's really important that if you find that they are being mean or manipulative or just overall as I said toxic to you as a person it's really important to just get rid of it don't have it hanging around it will only make things worse and if you get it out sooner rather than later it will just be way 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 more beneficial and easier to do number six is quality over quantity I believe in this with a lot of things, but for the most part, I believe it mostly with friends. I think it's more important to have a good, small group of quality friends than be that person that's friends with everyone and a good portion of them don't even like you. Um, this was really hard for me to understand in high school because I think everyone in high school kind of strives to be popular. Um, but once I like got to like the end of high school and I got into college, I realized how important it is to have friends that stick by you and that are loyal to you and that are really just overall really good friends to you and care for you. And most of the time you will find that is better when you have only like three to four good friends opposed to having like 20 best friends. Number seven, don't take your family for granted. I know not everyone is super close with their family, but I'm super close with my family and I have found that I sometimes take it for granted and you shouldn't do that because there are people in the world who don't have good family relationships and I genuinely feel bad for those people. Like I honestly consider my parents like my best friends and I love spending every second with them and you know seeing other people not have good relationships with their parents really really makes me upset and really puts into perspective how grateful I should be that I can go to my parents for anything and know that they'll trust me and listen to me and just overall have a good relationship with me. Number eight, try not to compare yourself to other people. I know that is very, very hard. I do it myself, um, especially with social media. It's hard to not scroll through someone's Instagram feed and feel like, why is my life not as cool as theirs? Honestly, just 
live your life the way you want to live it. Don't think about what other people are doing. Again, I know that's really hard to do, but if you stay in that kind of mindset of just doing things because you want to do it because they make you happy, then you'll feel so much better. Number 10 is love yourself. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. I think this is really, really important, especially for women. I think a lot of women feel that they're scared to speak their mind because they believe if they do, they'll be labeled as, you know, a bitch or opinionated. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. If you feel like something is not right and you want to speak up about it, do it. And if there are consequences, it's better to speak up to those things and, you know, get the consequences but see maybe a change happen opposed to not saying anything and just living kind of with that regret of not saying anything. Number 12, always strive to be better. Um, this is something that I never really like always thought of in like the forefront of my mind. Um, it was always kind of on the back of my mind, but I think it's important to bring it forward and really to like honestly think about every day like what can you do to make yourself better? What are those little things that you're noticing that are bringing you down or making you not feel like you and how can you change those things? 13. Don't be afraid to ask for help. This is so crucial. I used to be that person that I felt like if I asked for help, that was showing my stupidity and that was showing me being a failure. That is not true at all. Asking for help is really, really important. I have found over the last couple years that like I've gained the confidence to ask people help and as a result, I've been more productive and kind of going off the last one, bettering myself. Number 14, it is okay to not be okay. I know the saying is said a lot and it's kind of cheesy, but it's really true. There's nothing wrong with feeling upset about something or feeling like you need just a good cry. Every once in a while, like you just need one. Number 15, take care of your health. I was so unhealthy growing up. Like it was outrageous how unhealthy I was growing up. And then kind of like end of middle school into high school, I kind of tried to switch it more like my parents switched the health and I kind of rebelled against it a couple of times. But now I have ultimately found that literally being healthy is so, so key. Especially when you're at a time like me now where you have to think about the long run, you have to think about your future. It's important to stay healthy because you want to be around. That sounds so morbid, but it's true. You see people every day just having freak accidents of heart attacks or getting diseases or cancer and that comes as a result sometimes of not being healthy. So you really, really, really have to take care of your body. Number 16. Some things happen for a reason. Um, this one is hard because there will be times that things will happen to you and you'll feel really pissed and really upset and hope that they never had happened to you. But ultimately, those things happen for a reason and you should grow from them. Number 17. Learn from your failure. I am someone where I hate failing. I really, really hate failing. And I will have times that I will have horrible crits and I will literally just shut down and get so upset from it. Which, there's technically nothing wrong with that, but you have to grow from it. You have to kind of like be a phoenix and like rise from that. The way of doing that is taking that anger and that frustration from failing and use it towards something better. For me, like I use that a lot to push my creativity and in the end, I end up creating better work than I did before. Number 18, love will come when it wants to. I'm very, very into this because I have always been that person that's like, I need to be in a relationship, I need to be in a relationship just because other people were in relationships and that's not the case at all. You should move, everyone moves at their own pace when it comes to being in love and being in relationships and having a boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever you want to define it as, it just, it will come in time. It's, you can't like formulate it so that it will just happen. It will happen for reasons and at its own time and pace, if that makes any sense. Number 19, be the best that you can be. Always try to be just the best. I know that seems kind of like cocky and kind of like egotistic, but Honestly, if you try to be the best all the time, you'll just stay more positive and you'll strive to be better as I talked about before. Honestly, all of these things kind of intertwine together and when you work with them together, you'll just be a better person. Number 20, don't care about what other people think. This kind of goes back again to like don't compare yourself to other people. Um, and again, I know it's a lot harder said than done. 
it's definitely important to take people's judgments and critiques, um, but don't don't get too caught up in them. Don't, don't take one thing someone has said to you and live with that for the rest of your life. That's not healthy. How do I explain this? Take like just certain particular things and try to use them kind of like I said before where they may be upsetting and frustrating. Use them to make you better. Use them to kind of like push you and give you the drive to just be the better you. And lastly, number 21, follow your dreams. This is really cheesy, but it's really important. As someone who thought that photography and YouTube could never be a career, and then you see it now where people are successfully doing this and living their dream, it's just proof that it's true. You can follow your dream and you can succeed in it. So go for it. If you're gonna take anything away from this, I think ultimately it is just be a better person, strive to always just be good, and when you're good, karma will bring good things back to you. So those were all the 21 things that I wanted to share with you guys. Now I'm going to show you some of the gifts that I got for my birthday. I'm showing these things, I'm not trying to brag in any way, I'm just trying to show how grateful I am. First set of presents that I got were I got this awesome cute shirt that is pink with some red stripes. It's super cute, super comfy. I absolutely love it. And then I also got from the same person this bomb ass shirt that says women do it better because hmm, they do. Then she also got me this great coloring book of things from the 90s. It's just so awesome and so comical. I'm obsessed with this. Like, if you can see this, it's the entire cast of friends. Like, this is good just for like stressful days, but I want to color it out, you know? And then lastly, she also got me some great little poster boards. This is one of them. The other one is like the famous scene from Pulp Fiction when they're dancing, and I already have that one hung up because I love Pulp Fiction. Me the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, and I'm so excited to use this. I will definitely be doing some tutorials with this. I'm very excited for that. She also then got me this really cute little like pack of like letters to your future self, which I think are just so cute. Um, I love these ideas of like kind of writing to yourself and to your future self because it's a good way to kind of just like reflect back on who you were as a person and how you've grown, so I love this. Then this, she got me one of the highlighter duos from Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. I am so excited for this. I literally don't have any good highlighter, so this is... This is major key. I'm very happy with this. My next friend got me this. It's a little set of Daisy perfumes, which is so crazy because I really want a Daisy perfume and I don't even think she knew about that. So kudos to her for just having that friend telepathy there. She then also proceeded to get me some candy that's rosé infused. So I am very happy about that because I'm a basic bitch and I love Rosé. She then also got me these postcards which are all famous photographs from the MoMA, um, which you guys know that I'm a photography major and then it's also really just perfect timing because I will be studying abroad soon so I can use these to send notes to people when I'm abroad. But, and the last set of gifts are from one of my friends who also got me kind of more things themed to me going abroad which I absolutely love. She got me this great little passport case where you can also hold like your credit cards and it has the special thing so like people can't steal your information which is key, very key. She also got me this beautiful notebook that I'm so excited to use when I'm abroad and it has like a little compass and everything so it's very travel themed and I'm definitely going to be documenting as much as I can and sharing it with you guys when I am abroad. And then last <laughs> For the dorm room, she got me one of these sets where it's like the string lights and it has the little clippies on it. So I can post pictures of um, my friends on it when I'm abroad, so I always have them there with me. So thank you to my friends for just getting these for me to begin with and also just for making my birthday the best birthday ever. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, I will keep you guys posted on everything coming up for these next couple months and then I'll be going abroad which I'm so excited about but yes there are more videos to come so like and subscribe this and I will see you guys soon bye